Welcome back, part two of Excel, module five. So we completed all of the first sheet. So we are going to um, copy this so that we have three more sheets. The original, the start consolidated, and three different ones. So we're going to copy three different ways so that you have um, experience type copying the three different ways. So click the circle plus sign so that you get a new sheet. Notice it's, enabled, it's labeled Sheet 2. Go back to Sheet 1. Above Row 1, there is a diagonal um, triangle. Click that, and it selects everything. Click Copy. Go to Sheet 2, and just press Enter. So you copied it onto Sheet 2. Then click Sheet 1, and we want to deselect, so just click anywhere. In Sheet 1, right-click on sheet one and choose move or copy move to end click create a copy and OK so we have another new sheet notice the name sheet one in parentheses two and then we need one more so select sheet one hold control and drag it to the end and you created a third so now what we'll do is right click because we want to give them specific names so on the very first one sheet one right click and rename and this will be consolidated expenses and then enter and you can select any tab color you'd like and then we'll go to sheet two i'm just going to fix mine In Sheet 2, right-click, and this one will be called Rename. This is going to be called Lady Lobster. And Enter. And then again, I'm going to go with the red for the tab color. And then when you're in this one, go up to Consolidated, and then double-click it and type in Lady Lobster Expenses Worksheet. Next one, right click, and this is going to rename Henry Haddock and enter. And again, select a tab color. The book had specific colors, but we're picking anything. Uh, choose a color, and then again, consolidate it and double click it. And this will be Henry Haddock. And then the last one, right click, rename, and this one's going to be Sharon Shrimp. And then again, choose right click and tab color, anything you'd like. And then go into consolidated, double click it, and it's Sharon Shrimp. So you have now four worksheets. And if you look at all four of them, they have all the same information. So let's go to sheet, for some reason this comes up still that um, error, but it didn't on the other. So if you wanted to go into the trace error and ignore it, you can do that on all of them, just so that there's no um, ignore the error. It copied on the other two, but not the first one for some reason. And then we'll go back to the very first one, so consolidated expenses. And what we're going to do is we realize, oh no, we need to change the percentage in column C and column E. Um, and you don't want to change it here, then have to go to Lady Lobster and change it, and Henry Haddock and change it. So you can change it on all of them. So what you'll do is you'll, um, you have your very first one selected, hold shift and select the last one. And you can tell that they've all been selected. So in the very first one, instead of three, you're going to type 2.5 and press enter, and this will be 2, enter, 2, 1, 1, 1. This one is negative 1, and this one is negative 2. Notice the magenta color. And then we'll click over into E, 5, and this will be 2.5, enter. And this is 3, 3, 1, 1, 2, negative 1. And the last one is negative 2.25.
And of course it changed the average. So now if you right click on any of the worksheets at the bottom, you could ungroup and then go to each one of them and see they've all been changed so they all match. So you save yourself some time by um, selecting all of the sheets and um, changing them all at once. So the next thing we're going to do is work on changing the figures in B5. So now go ahead and click Lady Lobster. So you're on the Lady Lobster worksheet. And if you want to, I'm gonna change the color so that it matches the fill, so it matches my tab color. Um, and now we're going to start filling the figures for B, column B, because payroll is not a dollar. So I'm going to fill them in. So um, I'm going to pause it, and then you can fill them in as well. And when you're filling them in, just um, type in using the number keypad, and you just press enter, and it puts in um, all of the formatting for you. So I'll finish this. So those are the figures you'll fill in for the expenses for Lady Lobster. And now we'll go to Henry Haddock. And again, I'm going to change the fill so it matches the same color as the tab. Oops. And then go ahead into payroll and I'll fill these in for you. So I'll go ahead and fill in the expense values for column B for Henry Haddock. And then I'll move on to Sharon Shrimp. And again, I'll make the fill handle match the tab color. And then I'll start the expense category values. So you have the figures for share and trim. And now we'll go back to consolidated expenses. So again, the payroll is not a dollar. What you want to do is get the payroll for Lady Lobster or Henry. Um, Haddock and, Shen, and Sharon Trim, all three added and put in here in consolidated expenses. So it's taking the payroll from each, adding them up, and putting them in here. So the formula for that will be, so click in B5 of consolidated expenses, click auto sum, and then you should have equal sum, and you'll click Lady Lobster, hold shift, and click share and trim so you're selecting all three of those and actually click b4 i'm sorry b5 and you can see up in your formula equal sum um, the apostrophe indicates the sheet name and then close parentheses and then the exclamation separates the sheet name from the cell reference and then just press enter and this value right here is the three payrolls from lady Henry and Sharon. And then you can just use your fill handle and drag it down. Click away to deselect. Now we're going to actually create a 3D pie chart based on the category names and the values and the totals for the consolidated expenses. So you'll select A5 to B12. Click insert right next to home and choose the insert pie or donut and choose 3D and it goes in the way of your um, chart. So you can just use the four arrows and then just drag it down. Whoops, I'm gonna drag it from up here and then just drag it underneath on row 14. And then what you'll also do is drag it with the diagonal so it goes to F32. And then we'll select style, chart style number nine. So click start the uh, more feature and there's style number nine and then you want to so you do have a legend down at the bottom and they want you to explode the slice that has to do with fuel and if you can't see because some of the shading is um, hard to read if you hover over they say what category it is so this is the fuel one when i don't click the numbers click in the empty space when you click it selects all the the pie slices, click it again so it's just the fuel, then right click and choose format data point and you get a window that opens on the right hand side and the explosion they want 15%.
And if you wanted to explode any others, you could. You would select it and then explode each one. But this one is what they want for now. And then what they want to do um, is they want to rotate the actual pie chart. So if you uh, right click, you can choose 3D rotation and you would ex um, they want it to rotate the X axis 250 degrees. The next thing we're going to do is add um, some more chart elements. So the plus sign is chart elements. And if you click it, all three are there right now. The chart title, the data labels, which are the percentage, and the legend down at the bottom. If you uncheck legend, it goes away just to show you. So um, I'm just going to put it so it's on the bottom. Oops. Backward was. So you click chart title and it just selects it. And you don't have to actually select the words, just um, select the title. And then you're just going to start typing. And where it appears is in the formula bar. So 2020 consolidated expenses. And when you press enter, it goes in place of chart title. So we'll go to chart elements. And we'll hover over data labels and you'll choose more options. And make sure you're on the label options and we'll go to, there's two different categories. So we'll go into label options first. So right now you just have the value, but we want to see the category name. So check off category name and it should be on percentage and you want show leaders. So now we'll, um, we'll minimize this and expand number. We want it to be percentage and one place instead. Right now it's two places, so just one. And then you can close out of here. And then for the data labels, if you click the chart elements again and hover over data labels, you can have it outside end and right now you can't see any of the font it's because the background the font color is white so if you wanted to you can go back home and you can choose a different font color and you can change it if you want and how do you get the uh, lines to show if you just click one because right now they're all selected if you just click one with the four arrows which is close to the border you can hold and drag and then you'll see the line so you'll do that so that they're not all crams and you can see it a little bit more and you just keep moving it until you get the line to show on all of them So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the page layout. So if you select the first one and then hold shift and select the last one, then click file and print. And we'll go into page setup. And under the first one, we'll choose landscape and then we'll go to margins. And the margins we want the um, left and right to be 0 0.5. You can use tab as well. And then sort center horizontally and vertical. And then in the header footer, choose custom header. And we can type in um, the date. And then the um, we'll go with sheet name. So each sheet name is different. So right here, sheet name, and then your name. And then OK. And OK. And then go ahead and click back. And then you can right click to, de to ungroup all of them. So what you're going to do now is save this. Um, right now it's called start file. Save it as complete file. So save it as complete file. So that way this everything is complete. And then um, in part three of this textbook exercise, we'll do the last part. So right now save this with all four worksheets as just change the name from start to completed. And I'll see you in part three.